I'm Zach Walters, and today I'll be discussing methods to create an effective and efficient work schedule. Studies show part-time workers are twice as likely to have poor work schedules compared to full-time employees. A poor work schedule can be costly to any organization and harmful to a business, but we can lessen these effects through conflict resolution workshops, leadership training, and communication with employees. As difficult as it is to create a work schedule, let's look at some effective methods we can take to do so. First, let's look at conflict resolution workshops. To understand conflict resolution workshops, we need to clarify conflict. Conflict can come from misunderstanding and miscommunication in the workplace. A conflict resolution workshop works to establish the problem, find a common goal, and then find methods we can take to reach this goal together as a business. A few universities offer conflict resolution workshops through research and information, training, and mediation. The research and information aspect allows for managers and fellow employees to research methods and ways they can solve this problem by themselves without having a third party. The training portion allows for someone to come in and instruct the manager and the fellow employees about how they can do this. The mediation part allows for a third party to come in and get into the problem themselves as a way to find the problem, find the goal, and establish a way to meet this goal. The benefit of a conflict resolution workshop is it not only allows employees to solve problems at the current time, but also in the future. This means when a problem arises in the future, employees will be equipped with the training and methods they can take to solve this problem quickly and efficiently. This allows for the business to be more productive. The disadvantage of this method is the technique use. If a university or a third party comes in and uses a poor technique that does not match with the personalities of the employees and the managers, it can do more harm than good in the conflict because the employees and the managers may resist this workshop training. The cost of this method is $3,250 for three to six months of training. However, this is not the only method to create an effective and efficient work schedule. There is also leadership training. Leaders are a key role in every business, not only from day to day, but also in creating an effective work schedule. A leader's role is to lead and command the employees under them. This not only includes managers, but it can also include fellow employees in leadership positions. This leadership training is brought to us by AMA, or the American Management Association. The American Management Association provides online training courses for managers and employees and leadership programs that allow them to find team building skills, strategic planning, and decision making. This not only helps in the day-to-day -day of every business, but can be very beneficial in creating an efficient and effective work schedule. Since this is an online training course, it is able to be used by managers and employees in leadership positions from any location as long as they have online access. The advantage to this method is it finds new and creative ways for those in leadership positions to come up with a schedule but also work day to day with their fellow employees and managers to lead and command. The disadvantage to this method is that it takes time. The time aspect of this is that once the people in the leadership roles have gone through this training and learned what they need to learn, they then have to go back to their business or their corporation and apply what they have learned. This could take days to weeks to months, depending on how the manager and the person in the leadership roles applies what they have learned to their business and also how high they are in the business in their role. The cost of this method is $2,445 for two days of lessons. Which leads me to my last tip, communication with employees. Communication is key in every business to be effective and efficient. Communication is very important the communication with employees is also the least expensive and easiest method to create an effective and efficient work schedule. Employees want to feel that they are a part of the business and this means having a collaborative work environment. A collaborative work environment allows for employees to give feedback and receive feedback from fellow employees and managers in an environment that they are comfortable with. This survey here of 67 respondents was asked is one-on-one -on -one communication and talking in the workplace the best method of communication? Of these 67 respondents, 74.6% of these respondents, as you can see here, strongly agree 
that talking in the workplace is the best method of communication. Open communication is effective, efficient, and is overall key to the success of a business. The advantage of communicating with employees is that they feel that they are a part of the work environment and they feel that their voice matters. It also allows for employees to give feedback to the managers and managers to give feedback to the employees about what they believe and what the business needs. This can create a schedule that works for both managers and employees. The disadvantage to this method is time. It takes time because we have to take time out of our work schedule to talk to each and every employee about what they believe and what the managers believe, compare these with the organization and the business goals and what the business wants to achieve, put all this information together to create an efficient and effective work schedule. For this business, I estimated the cost to be time. The time would be 30 minutes to one hour per week, every week, discussing with employees and managers about what they believe the scheduling should be about creating a schedule that works for them and the business. Now that I've said everything I need to say, let's review. Overall, we've talked about methods to create an efficient and effective work schedule. The methods we have talked about are conflict resolution, leadership training, and communication with employees. A business needs to know that their employees feel that they matter. The business also needs to know that their employees are going to follow a schedule and get the work done to their best of their abilities. To have an effective and efficient work schedule, I believe we need to take time to communicate with each and every employee to see how they feel and compare this with the business goals. Although this does take time out of the work schedule, I believe it is the most effective and efficient way not only to see results right now, but also long into the future that will benefit the company. So the next time you consider creating a work schedule, Please consider open communication with employees that allows us to set this schedule with the business needs. Thank you. Here is my outline.